Good morning, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are doing well. Now, look at the board, seven. Look at the board. Come on. Okay, now, Sabe, listen carefully. Listen carefully. After reading, after reading the reading of the lesson, I will ask you some questions. Unit three, page 22. Read, Sit down, exercise two. Read and listen to the text. School of the air. Big country, small population. Australia is an enormous country, but it has a population of only 20 million. Some families live on big isolated farms, hundreds of kilometers from a town or city. Children from these families can't travel to school every day, so many of them use a special school, the Australian School of the Air. Schools without classrooms. There are 12 schools of the air in Australia, and over 1,000 students use them. Students of the School of the Air study the same subjects as other Australian students, but they don't have lessons in classrooms with other students. They study at home on their own. The teachers at the School of the Air prepare lessons and send them to the students by post or email. The students have to work on these lessons for five or six hours a day, Monday to Friday. They send their work to the teachers once a week and discuss it by radio or over the internet. They can also borrow books from the school library. The books arrive by post. A chance to meet. Once or twice a year, a teacher visits every student at home. The teacher spends a day with the student, helps them with their work, and discusses problems. The teacher often has dinner with the family and stays for a night at the student's house. Teachers and students can also meet at the sports carnival. This takes place once a year on playing fields in Alice Springs. Students don't have to go, but it is a great way for them to do sport together and to make friends. I study on my own, says one student, but I'm not lonely. My teachers are very friendly, and I check to them quite often. I email other students most days too, and I love the annual sports carnival. Okay, Sabe, now this text talks about Australian schools of the air and uh, are for students who live in geographically isolated areas had in general the main idea of this text now please look at the first paragraph okay father so what is the meaning of enormous very big. very big and what is the type or the part of the speech of enormous it's an adjective and what about population what is the meaning of population yes the number of people in a country and it's a noun it means in arabic sukkan excellent so how many people live in australia yes 20 million excellent so as you see a very large 
country with a very small population, Akidia Sabe, Rahikun, their children uh, can't to travel to school every day or daily. So that they need for the distance learning, يعني, they need for school uh, there. And what? يعني, online. أتعلم عن بعض لأنه هاي العائلات أطفالها كانت تترافل What is the meaning of travel? To, uh, to, uh, to go from one place to another Yes, to go from one place to another and it's a verb يا أحمد حلو stay with me please إنه ما آه uh, شوي حبيبي Okay, so ما رح يقدروا يتنقلوا من مكان إلى آخر ليش؟ لانه they live in on big isolated farms. So what is the meaning of isolated? Ah. Yes, excellent. And what is the type of isolated? It's an adjective. Ah, but Ahmed Hilo, that's not allowed. That's not good. What's wrong? So, okay, Sabe. Now, schools without classrooms. How many? How many schools of the air are there? Yes. There are twelve schools of the air. There are twelve uh, schools of the air. Excellent, and over a thousand students use them. Hello, Sabe. The students of the School of the Air studied the same subjects as other uh, Australian students. So what is the meaning of subjects? Yes, please. Yes. Yes, that's, that's right. And what is the part of the speech of subjects? Yes, the same, Abdul Rahim. It's a verb, noun, subject, uh, adverb or adjective. Uh, noun, it's a noun. So they study at home on their own. بمساعدت أنفسهم. بمساعدت أنفسهم. طيب. Uh, what is the meaning of on their own? Yes. By themselves versus other people. By themselves, not with other people. Okay, Sabe, look there, look at the next uh, page. Uh, how do teachers uh, give Don't lessons? Yeah. Okay, Sabe, how do teachers give lessons? Yes, Muhammad. <laughs> Excellent. They prepare lessons and then and send them to the students by post or email. So uh, prepare means to get ready. بجهزوا الدروس. بعد ذلك بجهزوا بحضروا الدروس. And it's a verb, regular verb. بعدين send them by post. Post. What is the meaning of post? Yes. Assistant for delivering the letters and packages. Yes, excellent. Assistant for delivering letters and packages. And it's a uh, noun. El barid. Li ehna nbousalna nah minna rasail aw atturud. Ethan bibatu el dirus mujahaze an tariq el barid aw el barid el electron. Hala, the students have to work or have to study the lessons, these lessons for five to six hours. Mithna, تقريبا. بدرس المواد من خمس إلى ست 
ساعات يوميا and uh, then they uh, send the work to the teachers once a week they can discuss um, their problems their homework uh, by radio or over the internet so what is the meaning of discuss Ahmad. to talk about important to talk about something serious or important it means a uh, it means you and it's a verb and the students can also borrow books from the school library so it is the meaning of borrow yes yes in english yes to take something for a short time and get it back later thank you and it's an, uh, a regular verb. library what is the meaning of library yes on you are great yes hello look at the last paragraph how often does the teacher visit the students yes once or twice a year here yeah. okay hello uh, the teachers uh, the teacher visits uh, the students every every students every year uh, every student بزور الاستاذ بزور الطالب مره بالسنه اه لكن بيقدر يقابله can meet the students in the carnival sports carnival and uh, this carnival takes place once a year uh, on uh, playing fields in Alice Springs so what is the meaning of takes place <laughs> yes to happen yeah Ahmed Hilo please stay with me hey miss camera and I'm a hat baby it's looking mother live either stay with me that's better for you okay so what is the meaning of lonely <laughs> again yes and what is the meaning of chat to talk in yes to talk in a relaxed friendly way and what is the meaning of annual annual yes you are a great yeah on so what is the type uh, or what is the part of speech of annual annual it's an annual Adjective, what is the adverb of annual? Annually. Yes, we add a Y at the end of the adjective. Now, Sabe, let's go to the next person. Party planner. Listen carefully. Then ask some questions. Unit four, page 30. Read. Read and listen to the text. Party planner. Meg Burton has an unusual job. She's a party planner. Our reporter, Jenny Lane, interviewed her. What do you do in your job, Meg? I organize parties. Some people want a small, simple party, and they don't need any help. But other people want to have a big, extravagant wedding party, for example, in a memorable place. It takes a lot of time to organise a party like that. These days, people don't have much time, so I do it for them. What kinds of parties do you organise? Oh, all sorts of parties. Lots of people want to get married in a Scottish castle, for example. Most people love nature, and some people want to have parties outdoors. I sometimes organize parties in a forest or on a mountain. What other unusual places are popular? Well, 
Some people love swimming and diving, and they want to celebrate underwater. Believe it or not, trips in hot air balloons are very popular for special occasions too. People want a day to remember. And how do you help? Oh, there's a lot to do. I organize the invitations, the food, the music. Sometimes the guests have to travel from another country, so I book flights for them. What are you doing at the moment? I'm planning a party for a very well-known person. He's English, but he's having a party abroad. He's flying to an island in the Caribbean next week. He's having a party in an enormous tent on the beach next to the sea. Oh, that's fantastic. Who is this well-known person? And why is he having this big party? Sorry, I can't tell you. Do you enjoy your job? I love it. I have to work very hard and very fast, and there are always problems, but it's never boring. So, yeah, sabe what makes job? What makes job? Amar. Again? Party planner, yes, thank you. So she organizes parties. What uh, kinds of parties does she organize? All sorts of parties. All sorts of parties type. Why uh, do some people ask me to organize their party? Because some people don't have time. And then yes, yes, excellent, because they are busy. They don't have enough time to organize the big party. Tayyip Sabe, what is the meaning of organize? Organize, yes? Yes. Yes, excellent. And it's a regular verb. What is the meaning of extravagant? Yes, costing a lot of money. So, uh, Meg can help people who want all types of parties. Yes. And what is the meaning of memorable? Yes. Worth remembering. Worth remembering, Worth remembering and it's an adjective. Thank you. Some people want to get married in, in a Scottish castle. What is the meaning of castle? A large building, a large, a large building that was built to the Yes, but other people want their uh, parties outdoors. What is the meaning of outdoors? In the open air, not inside the Yes, you are a great. And so she sometimes organizes parties in a forest or on a mountain. So what is the meaning of forest? Majd. There are a lot of uh, trees, herbs. Here. There, yes, or here. Thank you. What is the meaning of mountain on? Yes, you are a great. You are a superhero today. Now, but some people, some people want to celebrate Tasawaru underwater. Yeah, they love swimming and diving. So what is the meaning of celebrate? Show that you are happy about something. Yes, to show that you are happy about something. Yes, and celebrate is a verb. The noun of celebrate is? Celebration. Yes, exactly, celebration. So they want a day to remember. Yeah. To keep something in your mind. To keep something in your mind. And what is the... The, the part of the speech of remember, Arafat, it's a verb, yes. And uh, how, how does she help them? Number one, she organizes the invitations, the food, the music, and she sometimes books the flights for the guests. So what is the meaning of book? Amar. To reserve a place. That's enough, Ribawi, please. You make a lot of noise. 
a flight or at a restaurant. Thank you. And book here is a verb. Guests. The people at a party or a ce celebration. It's a noun. Thank you. Now, Sabe, what is she doing at the moment? She's planning a party for a well-known person. He is English, but he's having a party abroad. So what is the meaning of abroad? Yeah, yeah. In a different country, not in your own country. Yes. And what is the meaning of island? Island. Amar. Yes, there is there is water all around this place, and it's a noun. What is the meaning of tent? You live in this when you are camping. Yes, you live in this when you're camping. Okay. Does she love her job? Does she love her job? Amar? Yeah. Yes, she does. But uh, uh, she has to work very hard and very fast. And there are always problems, but it's never boring. What is the meaning of fast? The opposite of slow. The opposite of slow. here. What is the part of a speech of fast? It's an adverb. Excellent. What is the opposite of boring? Exciting or interesting. Okay. Now, Sabe. بدي أحكي لكم هلا شغلة عن الاختبار. Please. انتبهوا معي. سابع كتير انتبهوا معي. أول إشي الدراسة من الكتابين الورك بوك والفيو بولز بوك وحدة اثنين زائد ثلاث زائد أربعة طبعا أنا هذا كله كتبت لكم إياه بالتفصيل رح أبعث لكم إياه على الواتساب أوكي هلا الدراسة كاملة يا سابع القواعد التمارين صفحات الحفظ كنت في صفحات لكم إياه سابع آه هاي حفظ هاي حفظ القواعد راجعناهم بحصة امبارح مع ورقة العمل آبائي هلا البريزنت سمبا البريزنت كونتينيوس رح ناخذ عنه لمحة سريعة مراجعة لأنه ما لناش يومين آخذينه بس مع ذلك بنراجعه هلا بالنسبة للدراسة بتدرس من الكتابين من أوراق العمل من الدفتر تمام بعدين يا سابع بالنسبة للدرس للنصوص النصية اللي هلا أخذناهم أخذنا ركزنا على وحدة ثلاث وحدة أربعة والمعاني إنجليزي إنجليزي وحدة ثلاث وحدة أربعة تمام تنين نأخذ منها القواعد نأخذ منها الاستخراجات حفظ الدرس صفحات الحفظ عفوا والورك بوك هلا في قطع نصية بالورك بوك لا تدرسوها ادرسوا التمارين <تصفيق> آه هلا على السكيلز <تصفيق> السكيلز يا سابع اخذتوهم بالرايتنج عفوا اخذتوهم بالمحادثة السبيكينج وبرضه الرايتنج سكيل برضه اخذتوهم بالمحادثة هلا خليني سابع بعدين رح اخذ كل اسئلتكم بس خليني اعمل لكم شورت ريفيجن فور ذا بريزنت كونتينيوس وي يوز ذا بريزنت كونتينيوس وين وي توك اباوت ايفنتس ار هابينينج ناو لما انا بحكي عن احداث يا لي ما يا كنان عم تحدث هلا الفورم اللي إلها سبجكت الفير بي اس ار اور ام بعديها فير بون بلس اي ان جي تمام ذس از ذا افيرماتيف فورم يا عمار النيجاتيف فورم بنضيف النوت للفير بي بتصير ازنت ارنت ام نوت أما بالنسبة للإنوريجاتيف فور فبنقدم الفيرب بي إز آر إم 
بلس سبجكت والفيرب مثل ما هو مش حنحدث عليه اي تغيير بلس فيرب 1 ويذ اي ان جي بس يا سابع دونت فورجيت ذا كويشن مارك تمام اهم شيء هلا هون بدنا نحكي نتذكر مع بعض الكي ووردز الكي ووردز السابع عندنا لسن exclamation mark luck exclamation mark be careful at the moment now yes ya bara راح يجي الرايتنج سكيلز في الامتحان؟ لا ولا ال ال السكيلز السكيلز والرايتنج ما راح يجوا معكم بالاختبار تمام طيب هلا هو ود لايك تو جيف مي ان اكزامبل فور ذا بريزنت كونتينيوس افيرماتيف فورم يس الافيرماتيف افيرماتيف I'm leaving now. The negative. I'm not playing football. And the interrogative. Are you playing now? Stop. Sit down, Sabah. What's wrong? Type. That's all for today's class. And good luck, ya shabab. بالامتحان إن شاء الله تعالى. أي سؤال تبعتوا لي على الواتساب